Okay, Messianic Michael back, and uh, today we're going to demonstrate how to clean a uh, saltwater fish that's called a whiting. A whiting have a, a beautiful, sweet, white, flaky meat. And uh, the first uh, step to cleaning any fish is uh, catching it. And uh, we've discovered over the years that uh, prayer and asking the Lord to, uh, to share in His blessing is an important part of helping catch fish. So uh, we have a few whiting uh, that were answered to prayer. We have some black drum and we have some redfish. But we've made other videos in the past uh, about cleaning black drum and redfish. So I wanted to focus on the whiting today. First thing you want to do is you want to start with a sharp knife. So uh, this is just a Dexter Russell uh, seven inch fillet knife. Uh, we've already sharpened it with uh, 10 swipes on the coarse and 15 swipes on the fine side. And then uh, sprayed all the sand off because we caught these at the beach in Southwest Louisiana. And then you make one simple cut from the front. You're going down to the spine and then you work your way uh, front to back. Don't quite cut it all the way off the tail. Leave a little there, it helps to hold it on. And then you're kind of sliding the fillet knife along the back, separating the fillet uh, from the skin and you get a nice fillet. Now to repeat on the other side, flip it over, cut down to the back. Once you get to the backbone, work your way back toward the tail. Flip it over, don't quite cut it all the way off the tail. And then this helps hold the skin as you remove the fillet then from the skin for a nice fillet. Simple as that. Now I like to keep the knife real sharp, so even uh, every fish or two, uh, once you've got it, if you start with it sharp, one fish isn't going to dull it too much. So just uh, go to the fine side, the fine side of the knife sharpener here, and give it 10 or 12 or maybe 15 more uh, gentle swipes. Uh, then you get to the next fish, uh, cut down at an angle like this. Get it down to the backbone and then you slide it along the backbone toward the tail. Flip it over. And then separate the fillet from the skin. And you get a nice fillet. Here we did catch a couple of uh, ribs and uh, those cut off pretty easy and then throw the filet in the bucket uh, for cooking. Alright, once again, take the knife and the first cut down the backbone, follow it along the backbone, toward the tail, flip it over before you get all the way cut off at the tail, and then separate the filet from the skin, And then if you got a couple ribs involved, separate out the ribs. And then you're ready to go. Right, once again, this fish is called a whiting. Uh, very common in Gulf of Mexico waters and other waters as well. Uh, these were caught on shrimp off the beach in uh, southwest Louisiana. And so they clean up real fast with a sharp, uh, this is a seven inch uh, Dexter Russell. First cut, the backbone, second cut along the backbone. I usually like to flip it over before I get all the way to the tail. Uh, the knife slipped there and I ended up cutting the whole fillet off. No worries, uh, you can grab the fillet in a, with a pair of pliers or some people use a fork. Separate the fillet from the skin. And if you get some rib bones in there, cut the rib bones out, and then you're ready to go. Knife down the backbone, uh, knife along the backbone, separating the fillet from the backbone. Flip it over, separate the fillet from the skin, and then sometimes you get a couple ribs. 
try and just uh, cut the ribs out. And then you have a nice boneless filet. Very nice, uh, sweet, white, flaky meat. High quality stuff. So we thank the Lord for this.